everyone. I'm here to introduce our research paper to all of you. For the three crowd images, we can easily tell which one has the largest scale crowd. Thus, this observation sheds light on a novel methodology of supervising the crowd counting models using ranking labels for any pair of crowd images, where each ranking label indicates which one of the image pair contains more persons. Currently, deep learning based methods are primarily supervised at three levels, location level, count level, and no label. Location level supervision relies on location based density maps. However, Constructing density maps requires a significant amount of effort, making it challenging to build large-scale datasets. Count-level supervision is based on crowd count numbers, but each scene still demands genuine crowd data. No-label supervision only uses raw crowd images for input, but the performance is significantly worse compared to other methods. And the supervised method we propose is based on ranking level which is a subjective ranking label for pairwise images, and the label can be conducted only at a glance. Ranking level supervision offers several advantages. Not only does it simplify the process of constructing ranking labels for image pairs, making the creation of extensive datasets more feasible, but it also can be seamlessly integrated with other forms of supervision, leading to the potential for enhanced overall results. Our method consists of three stages in total, namely data labeling, training, and inference. Regarding data, we start with publicly available datasets. Since we have access to the true labels corresponding to the images in these datasets, it is relatively easy for us to construct ranking pair datasets. We employ a deep Siamese network as the ranking model for pairwise crowd images. We leverage a transformer-based feature extractor architecture, PVTV2, as the backbone of the Siamese network. The backbone is composed of four stages to extract feature maps of different scales. Here we propose a multi-scale feature fusion module to generate a feature map that incorporates multi-scale information. Due to their varying scales and channel numbers, we initially standardize their scales using a global average pooling and subsequently ensure uniform channel numbers through a fully connected layer. Finally, we can merge them together through summation resulting in the final extracted feature. We design a potential decoder to map the feature maps extracted by transformer backbone to the potential values of the scene. Through the Siamese network, we can get two potential values. To supervise the ranking labels, we propose to associate the predicted potentials of two network branches with the corresponding ranking labels. Inspired by ranking support vector machine, we can train the network by minimizing the ranking hinge loss. By analyzing the population distribution within the data set, it has been observed that in many scenes, the crowd tends to be denser in the lower half of the image while sparser in the upper half. This phenomenon can be attributed to the influence of gravity as it is reasonable for people to stand on the ground rather than in the air. However, this tendency can lead to model errors when the model excessively relies on this characteristic of population distribution. Therefore, we introduce an auxiliary task here, which involves randomly flipping one image in each pair vertically. Subsequently, the network extracts deep features, and an MLP branch is employed to determine whether the corresponding image has undergone a flip. By introducing this auxiliary classification task, the encoder of our model is able to extract more accurate features across various scenarios. During inference, for any query crowd image, its predicted potential can indirectly represent the crowd quantity in the corresponding images. However, while the predicted potential values are proportional to the actual number of people, they exist in different linear spaces. Therefore, we introduce an anchoring mechanism here to perform the mapping. The anchor set includes a set of crowd images sampled from the training set, and their counts are specifically annotated and distributed over a large counting range. Thus, we can estimate the scaling mapping function that projects the predicted potentials of the images in the anchor set to crowd counts via linear regression. Here, we use an L1 loss to fit the mapping between potential values and counts. Note that the number of images in this anchor set is very limited. 
Finally, our loss function is the sum of these three losses with a certain weighting applied for balance. We conduct extensive experiments to evaluate our approach on several crowd counting. And we compare our approach against other weekly supervised counting methods. Note that, compared to the existing weekly supervised methods, our ranking-based model requires weaker supervision, and we use MAE and MSE to evaluate the performance of crowd counting. In our experiments, we trained our model using the same amount of weak count labels with other weekly supervised methods. Furthermore, we introduced two variants, one trained solely on ranking labels and another on a combination of ranking and 50 samples count labels. These variants highlight the gains achieved with minimal weak samples. In the context of partial count labels, these weak labels can function directly as anchors without necessitating additional fine tuning. As shown in this table, we can see that our model trained with ranking only shows promising results compared to other methods. This demonstrates that these flexible and achievable annotations are practical in crowd counting. The additional 50 samples can boost the counting accuracy. When compared with other weekly supervised methods such as CrowdMLP and Hack, with the same amount of weak training data, the performance of ours is the best in the weekly supervised setting on MAE and MSE, and even close to location level baseline MAN. We visualize the density maps delivered from the first layer of the network. Although there are no location points as supervisory signals, the estimation of our approach is close to the ground truth density maps. The above table validates the roles played by the proposed different modules in the final algorithm. The following table presents results obtained by training a simple convolutional network, CSRNet, using only our ranking supervision. It can be observed that our method is also highly effective in this scenario. We propose a novel weekly supervised setting in which we leverage the binary ranking of two images with high contrast crowd counts as training guidance. In particular, we tailor a Siamese ranking network that predicts the potential scores of two images indicating the ordering of the counts. Hence, the ultimate goal is to assign appropriate potentials for all the crowd images to ensure their orderings obey the ranking labels and then map them to actual crowd counts. That's all. Thanks for your listening.